We really took a liking to Asus, VivoBook brand. It's refreshing to see some colorful devices that will make the kids happy and get them into technology and computers. The brand is entirely focused on the younger audience and it does a great job at attracting them to this laptop, with bold designs and features that quickly grab the attention of consumers. Today we are talking about one of the newer VivoBook devices, the VivoBook 15M513. It is fairly affordable while offering a surprisingly good amount of performance, with both Tiger Lake and the new 5000U series processors from AMD being available. Today we are presenting you with Laptop Media's top 5 picks about the Asus VivoBook 15M513. The laptop uses a similar design scheme to other budget and mid-range devices, with metal being used for the lid and plastic for everywhere else. While on paper, it would seem that the body would be prone to flexing, it wasn't anywhere as bad as you would expect. While there was some flexing, the whole structure remained fairly solid, except for a few pops. The design is one of the strong qualities of the laptop, being offered with a total of six colors, meaning that you are for sure going to find something that matches your style and personality. Weight and height-wise, the laptop stops the scales at 1.80 kg, 3.97 pounds, and is just 18.6 mm, 0.73, tall. Open up the lid, which can't be done with a single hand, and you are greeted by decently sized bezels, a backlit keyboard with an electric green colored enter key, and a fairly small touchpad. The keyboard has average key travel, but its feedback is quite clicky. The trackpad is great too, offering a smooth surface for gliding and accurate tracking. Please remember, it would be a great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The laptop is surprisingly upgradable when you consider the audience that it is aimed at. Of course, you get half of the memory soldered onto the motherboard, but for the rest, you get one SOTM RAM slot, which can fit up to 32GB of DDR4 memory. As for the storage, there is one M.2 PCIe X4 drive and one 2.5-inch SATA drive, which takes us back a few years, but it is still nice to have. The VivoBook 15M513 features two options for a display, with the first one being a 15.6-inch Full HD TN panel, which we wouldn't recommend. The second panel has the same size and resolution but has an IPS matrix, which generally produces better colors. The panel has comfortable viewing angles and a maximum brightness of 336 nits, with a maximum deviation of 13%. The contrast ratio is also on the good side, sitting at 1360 to 1 and the panel remains flicker-free across every brightness level. The color coverage sits at 53% of the sRGB color gamut, which is on the low side, but this laptop isn't made for creative professionals, so it is not that big of a deal. The color accuracy was decent, especially when we applied our design and gaming profile, but still didn't match the standard. It got us an average to value of 3.5 which contrasted the 6.5 average to value that we got with the factory settings. Here are the results of our color accuracy test both with the factory settings, left, and with our design and gaming profile applied, right. While the laptop comes with a fairly small 42 watt hours battery pack, it more than delivers, lasting through 13 hours and 45 minutes of web browsing and 7 hours and 30 minutes of video playback. The battery life seems to be a bit unbalanced, as with other notebooks with the same processor setup, we have seen closer times between web browsing and video playback tests. Asus has found a way to make this laptop desirable, by sacrificing the features that their target audience won't care about. Now, the I.O., for many is a pretty important aspect, especially if you are a professional. On the other hand, if you mainly use the device for online education and watching movies, it wouldn't be a massive problem that you have two of the old and forgotten USB Type-A 2.0 ports. Intentionally or not, they are sitting alone on the left side, while the rest of the I.O. is on the right and it consists of an HDMI connector, two more USB 3.2, Gen.1, ports, one Type-A and one Type-C, a 3.5mm audio jack and a micro SD card reader. That could be slightly uncomfortable if you're right-handed and using the laptop with a mouse, 